Well, hello. I'm going to show you how to do an owl eye brim for a hat. So you can use that brim for any hat that you're going to make. It doesn't have any pearls in it. Very easy to do. Just one stitch all the way through. And it, this is a three quarter inch gauge. It would be fine on there. This is a five eighths inch gauge. Fine on there. I don't have any other looms right here right now, but even on smaller gauges, you can use it on any gauge you want from small to big with the right kind of yarn for it. And um, if it's um, a tight wool for the loom, it'll have a really, really tight look. And if it's a, a thin yarn for the loom, it will have a little bit more of a lacy look. Um, it's not as tight as something like rib net. Rib net would be tighter, so it'd make your hat a bit smaller. Owl eye brim will make your hat a little bit bigger, so you might be able to go down a loom size for what you're making. Um, I really love it for slouchy type hats because um, with the nicer brim, it drapes nicer for the slouchy hat too. And um, it folds up really nice, but I'll show that to you after. But um, I'll get uh, set up with a loom. I'll show you how to do the brim. And then after that, we can look at a couple of finished uh, hats with that kind of brim on them. Okay, so we will see you in a few. So I'm going to start by doing a chain cast on. It's a crochet chain cast on. I'm going to do it without a crochet hook. So what I do, I just take it, make a loop just like that, and then put the working yarn through it and have a slip knot. And then I just place that on the first peg. And then I take my loom hook, put it under the loop, and pull the working yarn through to get a loop. And then I tighten it by pulling on the working yarn here in the back and make sure that this stitch is tight. And then I just take that loop, put it behind the next peg, holding on to it, and pull the working yarn through it. And that's all there is to the cast on. Put the working, put the loop behind, working yarn through, tighten it up, behind, working yarn through, tighten it up. And at any time, if you want this loop to be smaller, you just pull on it. So working yarn behind and tightening it up. I mean the loop, the loop behind and tightening it up. And that's all there is to it. And we just do that all the way around the loop. So I'm just going to put you on pause because uh, it would be boring watching me do it all the way around the loom. And we will catch up when I'm close to the other side. Okay, so here I am almost at the end. So I take the working or the loop, put it behind the peg, tighten it up. And then here's the one we started at. And so you just take the loop and let it fall over there. And I just take the loom hook and knit it over. And now it's all secured and you're ready to go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do now is finish the cast on. So I'm going to do a row of owl eye. And so I just do a U wrap over peg one, come over. And then I do a wrap over peg one and two and just knit it over and knit it over. Whatever peg you're on, peg one, you go over peg one and two and knit it over. I have lots of videos of Owl Eye on my channel, so um, you can go watch those if you'd like to see more of a demonstration of it. And then just around and knit it over. And peg one over peg one and two, knit it over. And we just do owl eye all the way around.
Okay, so I will meet you back up at the beginning peg again. Okay, so I've done my row of owl eye all the way around the loom, and now I'm going to do one row of pearl, and it'll be the only pearl in the whole hat. And I just want to do it here at the beginning of the brim to make sure that the edge stays nice and straight. So how you purl is you put the working yarn into the loop. There we go. And then pull up the working yarn, take the loop off, and let the loop fall to the front. So take the hook, put it in the loop, pull up the working yarn, and you pull up the whole loop and put the new loop on. Under, pick up the working yarn, put it on the peg, and tighten it up. And there's lots and lots of videos on YouTube if you haven't purled before. So we just do one row of purl. So I will meet you up when we get back to the starter peg again. Okay, so I've done my row of pearl, and now I'm just going to do owl eye, and our brim is going to be owl eye stitch. So how we start that, there's our peg one. We always come over and do a U-wrap on peg one, and now we can go and do a second wrap over peg one and one over peg two. And wherever we are, we're on peg one, so we wrap one and two, and we just keep going like that. And uh, you can make your brim however long you like it. You could make a, just a one inch brim if you like thin brims. I'm going to do about an inch and a half. If you like a really long brim, you can do one that's two inches long. So I'm just going to keep working in owl eye till I get the brim, the length that I want it, and then we can catch up. Okay, so um, we'll see you in a few. Okay, so once you've completed the brim, and here I've done quite a long brim. It's about two inches, and this is with a Charisma yarn on a three-quarter inch gauge, and you can see this is how the brim looks. If you wanted to fold it under, it looks really nice on the other side. This is what the stitch looks like. So there you go, and it, you can see how nice it goes with this hat. Going into a different stitch here with, with more texture. So that's what it looks like that way. And then here it is. This is a worsted weight. And here's what it looks like in the worsted weight. So. It's very nice. I like the way it uh, went with that hat too. And again, if you wanted to fold it up, that's how it looks on the inside. And it looks really good, but still go with a hat like this. Um, often with the owl eye, I make myself a slouchy hat. But if I wanted to wear it as a beanie, I could fold it up and, and wear it as a beanie, beanie style. So, there you go. And even on this one, um, same thing. You can fold it up, wear it beanie style, instead of more slouchy. But there you go. And um, it has lots of stretch. And it will stretch. So it's comfortable. Uh, if you make it tight to your head, it'll still, even this one will still stretch. So there you go. That's how to do an owl eye brim. And the way that I showed you to cast on with the pearl does this. It gives you just this little braided thing. It folds up the edge slightly so you get this nice little edge right here. You can see it really well on that one. On this yarn it's a little harder to see but 
you have it here too, see? Hold it back up, but there it is. Just running along there. So I really, really like that. And um, if you look down here, it looks good there too. Let's see? No loose loops or anything at the base. Just really, really nice. So, okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, that's how to do an owl eye brim, which you can do on any hat you'd like. So, until next time, bye.